Now, if you guys remember, back when we had the Three Tails filler art per se, there was a nice lovely lady with the Crystal Dragons, and she is here. Brand new Chinese Ninja Gurin. What's everybody? It's your boy Pain, because everybody shout no pain. That is correct. Brand new Chinese Ninja Gurin is here. She is an event. She is a vanguard. Check her out. Look at her growths and talents and break her down. So for the growth for the force, 30, uh, 34,033.0. Agility and chakra, 39,030.0. Power, 360,034.0. Now for her talent, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you guys can see her animation while I talk. So for her talent, we have increased massive force and power by percentage. Naturally has 82% speed, 60% damage rate, and 60% avoid injury rate. While alive in formation, reduce enemy speed by 52% and attack by 30%. Increase all allies HP and defense by 30%. Naturally has 40% of block rate, can surpass limit, and 45% S block on block reduce attacks. Attackers HP by 45%. PvP only. Ignore 50%. Enemy control chance immune to Freeze, Imprison, and Death Seed. Okay, so the talent. Uh, I like the reduce enemy speed, like the attack as well. HP should make your team bow here. I like that. Um, the block rate, something different. Well, I want to say something different, but you know, because you, you know, just being able to break that limit. Uh, I mean, I would like dodge more, which is it was so interesting with Toby Rama is that it's like when he skills. And a lot of battles I have with my Togarama, even going up against another one, is like dodging constantly. It gets annoying because the battles last forever, but I mean, yeah. I mean, the block rates, that's cool as well. I mean, hey, you might not, you might still, you still take damage, but you take less damage. And then the S block rate on top of that is also cool as well, but only the PvP. And then the, uh, I know his MECC is also good as well, 50%. She has an okay talent. Not bad, not bad. Now for the skill. Attack three enemies with 400% growth rate, 100% chance to freeze enemies for two rounds. Clear all enemy debuffs, reduce enemy support damage rate by 40% and vanguard defense by 50% for two rounds. It, uh, increase all allies A rate by 40% for two rounds and recover, uh, recover 50 fury for the caster and 30 for everybody else. Her skill also is okay. Um. You know, whenever they switch things up with their attack, like if they're not attacking everybody, they're either attacking a certain line or attacking a certain number of people. Well, her attacking three people is very interesting because you could be in a fight where, again, your opponent has, you know, let's say all five people, but three people that she hits is three people that you don't need to be knocked out. It could be, let's say, the Vanguard is almost dead. Or you, mean, you want the van You want the thing is you want the Vanguard and the support dead. Let's say it's the main on low HP and the Vanguard low HP and then one of the supports. Whereas like, oh man, you attack, you know, you hit the wrong people I wanted you to hit. So that plays a part. The, uh, the freeze, the CCs make sense just based on her um, element and kind of like her Crystal Dragons ice related. So I like that 100% chance so you can dodge it. And they take away the ally the debuffs. I like that as well. Um, the damage rate is okay, um, 40%, and then the defense is okay, and the A rate is okay. So the skill is not too much. Um, for me, I'm going to skip her because I mean, I got Togarama, don't need to release, don't need to release him of his duties for the meantime. So yeah, um, overall, she is a good ninja, and I wouldn't say she's bad, she's okay, but I personally will skip her. Um, you look at her, probably more of a, I mean, you know, I would say. It's, it can go both ways, PvE, PvP and PvE, but if you really think about it, enemy speed, attack, the attack can help. Um, Cause PvP they hit so hard, but they do stuff like they dodge and you get blocks. I mean, you could have other ninjas that can like, um, uh, I guess leave you. I guess we'll fix that for you. Um, but making your team tankier, I mean, it it, it will help both. It, it can help on both ends. But, um, obviously her skill wouldn't really help too much in PvE, because the CC is not going to really do much, and then you're only hitting three people, you need to hit everybody, because where I'm at, 
it's not going to help. I mean, even Toby Roman, he is support. I mean, it's still worse because he's in two, he's in two to three people, but still, I mean, I, I was still, I, I'm almost still a skipper. You know what I'm saying? But she's not a terrible ninja, but she's just not the best. And I would keep Toby Rama and wait for a better Vanguard. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will catch you guys later.